Okay, well, <clears throat> caners always want to know how it is that we use and integrate the different types of canes, the different sizes of canes. So I'll show you how we do the minis, uh, how they transition into standards, and the expander or the long shepherd's cane and the role that each plays in a training session. But but this that you're seeing me do now, uh, these are this is all brain food, brain training. The ability to maneuver one cane with one skill set and another at the same time and it seems unrelated so figure eight with one hand intermediate or advanced with the other and then having the ability to offset the tempo so i may be maneuvering with my left doing one thing but i get that right <laughs> in the midst to stop and it looks simple but it's not uh, if you try it you'll see what i mean it requires training that then can transfer over into your standards. And we'll take an exercise, boxer skip rope, caner skip canes. <laughs> and you take that and it transfers over pretty much the same way, having that ability to maneuver that cane. Um, keep your eye on the left hand, this one here. And can we loop that and keep the other cane going at the same time? So. <clears throat> A slightly different feel for it, but there's the transference. Then you can take the long shepherd's cane, and this is my favorite these days um, for the benefits that it has because it allows you to expand. That's why I call it the expander. It allows you to create space in the body. So a lot of injuries, a lot of uh, scar tissue, if you had injuries, limited range of motion, this tool will change everything because it allows you it's long enough that it allows you to adjust as you're doing the movements and will allow um, a lot of you to do stretches and um, increase your range of motion that you otherwise would not be able to do. <clears throat> it's not just a stick. It has the horn that allows you um, uh, to move and to, it makes it just very, very comfortable to expand and create with a series of exercises. So just to give you an idea, and by the way, it's we call I call it lengthen, lengthen and strengthen because when I do something like this, I am pushing down, engaging my latissimus. So we're working on stability, mobility, flexibility, increasing circulation and oxygenation. So that's an example of how you integrate uh, these different canes into a session. If you're sitting there looking at me and you're saying, well, <clears throat> you know, I'm over the age of 50. Well, guess what? This is giving rise to the over 50 cane athlete. And you start step by step with a structured curriculum. This might shock and amaze you. Right? When people hear me say, I don't work with seniors. And you're listening there and saying, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm one of your caners. I follow your curriculum. You're start I'm 65. Yep, I hear you. But what I'm seeing here across when you pick up that cane and you're training like this, I don't see seniors with canes. What I see are vintage cane athletes. <laughs> what do you want to be? You want to be senior with a cane or you want to be a vintage cane athlete? So pick up that cane and get cane and caner.